Welcome to another Shop Talk. Now, normally I start out by answering a viewer email, but this time I've got something special I want to show you. I made a few upgrades to the shop that should hopefully improve air quality. Uh, we'll show you that in a minute, but first I wanted to let you know that there is a very cool project going on right now in the guild. Uh, you may have heard of a fella called Matt Cremona. Good guy, great builder. He's actually building a sofa table in the Wood Whisperer Guild. So if you want to check that out, you can. It's at thewoodwhispererguild.com. And speaking of the guild, a lot of folks can't afford it and don't necessarily want to spend the money on the guild because it is a paid platform. So we uh, started a scholarship program. Now we've selected 15 winners. We supplied 10 memberships and we have some sponsors who supplied the other five. Uh, those people are... It was very cool. Uh, Peter Perillo, Michael Schroeder, Andrew Gibson White, Dustin Norris, and also a corporate sponsor, Bruso Hardware. So thank you very much to our sponsors and congratulations to the 15 people who get guild access for free. Now we'll have another one of these scholarship things going in the fall. All right, so keep an eye out for updates on that. All right, so with that, let's get to the air quality stuff. Now the first thing I did was vent my dust collection outside. Now if you've seen some of my old shop tour videos in my older shop, I did the same exact thing and it worked great. So normally a cyclone like this, it's gonna put all the heavy chips down into a container and the lighter dust, really the most dangerous stuff, goes up through the exhaust and into a filter. Now previously I had a filter stack and this works great, but you have to keep it clean. You gotta blow the dust out of it, make sure the pleats are all cleaned up and you have to collect the dust out of the bottom. It's just a lot of maintenance and I'd really just rather take all that danger dangerous dust and send it outside if you can get away with it, right? So instead now the port just goes into essentially what's a, a very large dryer vent. Uh, so it's got a little louver door on there and it just blows all the dust outside. Uh, super excited about this one because I don't like dealing with filters. Now the second thing I did was install an exhaust fan. Now this one's rather large, but I've got an 1800 square foot shop, so I need to move a lot of air. And this one moves 5,500 cubic feet per minute. Now the idea behind it is, you know, kind of like the dust collection system, when the air is going, the little louvers uh, flap up, and what it's gonna do is pull all the air out of the shop. The reason I do this is because filming what I do, a lot of times I'll make cuts and I've got dust all over the place, but I need to film something and talk to the camera. So I take my respirator off and I'm breathing in the dust that I'm trying to protect myself from. Something like this allows me to plug it in for a few minutes and it just pulls all of the air out of the shop, replaces it with good air, and hopefully it'll provide a much safer environment for me. Uh, the key though is when something like this is moving a lot of air, you have to have a lot of intake air, right? Because you have to replenish what you're taking out of the shop. So if I open the front door, I essentially create a wind tunnel from front to back, pulling the air out of the shop. So it's very cool. I'm really excited about it. And uh, in fact, I want to put it to a test. I've got an air quality meter and we can see how it works. Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty details of these numbers, but this number is the small particles, basically five microns and below. And this is the large particles, five microns and above. And this is as my shop is right now, just on a Wednesday morning coming into the shop. This is where we're at. Now, this number is what the, the company, they've got a little chart on the back. They would call this fair. Right? We could definitely get better than this in the ideal world. We'd have a lot less than this, but hey, it's a shop. There's gonna be dust around, it's hard to avoid. So this is what we would call fair, and that's where we're starting. So let's kick up some dust. Well, say hello to my little friend. This is actually a portable blower, completely cordless, runs on standard Milwaukee batteries. Uh, my buddy Joseph Mensch sent this to me, and now we're gonna put it to some good use. <laughs> So after about 10 minutes, the shop air quality is back to where it was prior to making the dust. And I actually ran my air filter for another 10 minutes just to see if I could do any better. And you can see the numbers are even lower. All right, so uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Obviously, I'm a little bit paranoid when it comes to airborne dust. I wanna do this woodworking thing for a very long time. So I don't think there's a problem with being a little bit overly cautious about how much of this stuff goes into my lungs. Now you can do whatever you want in your shop. This is what I'm doing in my shop and hopefully it gives you a little bit of inspiration. But there are some things you should be concerned about. Number one, when you punch a hole in a wall like that, you are breaking the envelope of the building. So if you are conditioning the space, heating the space, you need to be concerned about air loss there. So what I'm gonna do is build a box a hinged box that will go over and provide a nice seal all the way around, put some insulation in there, and that should help for when I'm running my air conditioning. Of course, if I have the place air conditioned and I run that fan and try to clear out the dust, that's gonna create a problem. There's an efficiency issue there, but I'm gonna be strategic about when I actually decide to run that thing. 
Uh, the other thing to think about is safety. You have to be concerned about other things that are in your shop. A lot of you may work in basements with furnaces or garages with uh, you know hot water heaters. You have to be concerned about if you're going to pull gas out of those appliances, right? So know your space and know exactly what the effects of pulling air through that space will be. Okay. The other thing to think about is your neighbors. Um, I've got a decent amount of space around my shop. Uh, we live right next to an Air Force base, so it's very noise tolerant. You have to be careful about these things and think about your neighbor's impressions of a very loud exhaust fan blowing dust out there, into potentially into their environment. All right? So hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration. You may not want to go as nuts as I do with this stuff, but for me, this creates a nice safe environment for me and my family and guests to come into my shop. All right? Thanks for watching.